Hello there folks, Omega Luke here from FM Scout for another 10 potential stars in Football Manager 2020 and a little secret, we probably have one of the best ones that we've had so far on the series. So, thank you everyone for so far uh, watching the videos, enjoying the videos, liking the videos, telling other people about the videos, that's always good as well because the more people that watch these uh, episodes of these 10 potential stars, the more likely you're going to get more of them. Also, thank you very much for everyone who is suggesting all of the uh, the names that you have done in the comment section. Keep them coming. We are adding to the list every single day and testing all of your players that you are suggesting. A reminder that some of these players on your save might not be incredible or as good as what you see in the screenshots here. It's happened to me on some of my saves. They're just not up to scratch. That is because of potential ability. And I spoke about potential ability in the last episode. It varies between different saves. You could get a good one. You could get a bad one. Uh, it is really just a random thing. But unfortunately, outside of that, you also have to train these players Give them some tender loving care, some game time. All that good stuff leads to your players becoming the best that they can potentially be. Now the last thing before we get cracking with these 10 players, the link to my channel is down in the description. If you would be so kind to come across, uh, drop a sub, come and watch some content, some let's play action. There's not a lot to do now during lockdown, plenty of time to catch up on some saves that I have for you. It's a good time. We start off today's list in South Africa and to our friends Ajax Cape Town. Asanele Veleb Hayi. <sighs> These names, man. Unbelievable. Remember, like I said in the intro, potential ability means sometimes random attribute changes across different saves. He is just 16 though and can be picked up for less than 100k. Does this guy have the gojonas to prove us wrong with his development, however? And you know what? I've seen a lot worse. Good passing and vision, physical's all right, and this guy is now worth £4.4 million. So if you did take a gamble on this guy at the start, you've already made a hefty profit and got yourself a tidy player who is only 20 years old. And I'm pretty sure at the start of the game, he can be approached on a free transfer. An Argentinian striker from one of the biggest South American clubs now with Brandon Cortez. I mean, I'd sign this guy just for his name alone. But he also has some incredible attributes for just 17 years old. There are 14s across the board. You can also pick this guy up for less than £5 million. And I've seen this man myself put away double figures in top European leagues. So let's see what he has to offer later on in life. Well... Here is young Brandon five years later enjoying his new move to the Premier League with Watford. Great attributes too, looks like a solid advance forward and also in that cam role with an impressive passing ability too. Quite a tricky player, I like this guy, I like him a lot. The next player on this list is young Brian Gill who is quite well known already. However, not everyone has come across this guy and his exploits yet. At just 18, he already promises some really strong attributes in the mental and physical column. Playing on the left, he can also slot in in the cam roll or on the right. And you know why I love that already. Versatility. Cannot stress enough how vital versatility is during your saves. However, I know the outcome of this guy's abilities and it is just an incredible sight to see for all football manager players. I present to you Brian Gill. Look at those greens, all in the right places and a value of £60 million. Now, I did forget to mention before that Brian Gill is on loan currently at the start of the game at Leganes. However, Sevilla do have a minimum fee release clause of around about £14 and a bit million, pounds, so you can pick him up, but you would have to wait. So if you have a little bit of money lying around, the potential is there. Whether you can get in cheaper later on or right at the start is debatable. But there is that minimum fee release clause and there is that loan deal that you have to consider. So if you do have the money, this man is probably a target that you would want to think about. If you can hold out a year maybe. An absolutely insane player. Over to Croatia now. A hotbed of Eastern European talent. And Zagreb being probably the biggest club in the country at the time of recording. And I mean no hate, Hajduk Split fans. 
They can produce some of the most finest talents every year, and this year is no different. However, this man is not spoken about as much as others, and it's a shame. A defender in Gvardiol. At 17, he is already quite impressive. I don't know whether I prefer him as a left-back over a centre-back because of his positioning, but you could probably train him in either. Let's see what this man looks like in years to come. Well, he isn't the next Maldini, but still, above six foot, good jump and reach, and the rest of the physicals are rather enjoyable too. Mental attributes aren't insane, but above average, and his technical abilities, albeit could be higher, are workable for a decent standard of European football. This man could be a bit of a steal for a couple of million quid at the start of the game. Now, friends and viewers of my channel, which is in the description, will know that this man is one of my favourite players on this year's Football Manager. And it is just for one simple reason and one simple reason only. It's not really about his attributes. It's about his monobrow. Yes, it's Austin Oronoff. Now, like a lot of players on this list, you will need to load up several countries when picking the amount of players added to the game at the beginning of your save. If you load Uzbekistan, you will get loads of crazy cheap players. Before the latest winter update, you could literally pick this man up for less than a thousand pound. I did this myself on stream. Go and see for yourself. But unfortunately, he has moved back to Russia now, so you will need to pay a little bit more though. But with high determination, and just 18 years old, this guy actually has some impressive attributes. You can train him to play as a winger or as a fullback, and here he is in years to come. Although he's still rocking the monobrow, I'd say for a lot of teams, he would be a very valuable asset at right back. Great crossing ability, can rack up some assists depending on the way you play, and overall, not embarrassing attributes elsewhere. Austin Aronoff. <laughs> I'm sorry, but for 18, that monobrow is impressive. Over to Brazil now with Victor Bobson. Gremio always produce great youth prospects, and he is definitely one of them. You can pick him up for roughly 7 to £10 million, and he has already enough about him to put a shift in. However, this guy has the potential to shine into more of a first-team regular and a starting role in your side. Here he is later. Now he's still at Gremio, but I told you, didn't I? A very impressive deep line playmaker with some very good physicals. I still feel he could become better with a move to a more difficult league and with better train facilities. So I don't know. Let me know if you've ever used this man before and the outcome of that signer, because he is quite popular. Now, a Spanish left back playing for Levante here with Tony Herrero. And if you get on this guy quick, you can pick him up for £1.2 million for his release clause. He has the fundamentals for a good attacking fullback. A lot of 12s there, which suggests if they all rise with his development, we could have a solid left back here for a very cheap price. Let's see how he progresses. So here we have a classic case of a player's growth being blocked by lack of playtime. Just nine games in the first team. However, this man still has some good attributes. I just wish we could see what he would do for us if given the opportunity. But I'll leave that with a task for you. He is still good enough to make this list though. I like the look of him. Back to South Africa now with Kosti Christodoulou. And back to learning difficult names, which I probably mispronounced. A goalkeeper that you can pick up for so cheap, it's almost theft. 17 years old, he has very poor mental attributes, but they will grow eventually if given the time and love that a young player needs as exampled here. Still, only at 20 and still in South Africa, this guy could definitely be used as a good backup goalkeeper and you probably will save quite a lot of money picking him up. His command of area is good and he has 16 passing, which suggests a good sweeper goalkeeper. Handling and reflexes aren't bad, just not quite at the elite level that you would like. Look at this kid. He would 100% get mouthy in front of his mates as he walked out the corner shop, for sure. However, this winger is from Velez, known as Alvaro Barriel. Already possesses good flair, dribbling ability and physicals. For roughly four to five million pound at the start of the game, you can pick this guy up. But does he put his money where his mouth is in the future? Damn right he does. Now, playing for Napoli, worth over 30 million pound and looking like a top European winger already. He's even making appearances in the Champions League and scoring goals. So 100% worth a few million quid. If I were you, I would definitely consider picking this man up. Last but not least is Ryan Cassidy, which weirdly is the same name as the guy 
who is providing with me with a lot of these players, a lot of these screenshots, and is my tactics guy. I'm pretty sure it's not the same Ryan Cassidy. Well, if it is the same man, he has every right to be putting himself on this list because he is just 18 and has promising attributes at the start of this game. A low determination in this particular game file. Let's see a screenshot of the future Ryan Cassidy provided by Ryan Cassidy in the past. But remember, they're two different guys. Here he is, and I generally quite like the look of him, especially for a team like Watford, who at the moment are in the bottom half of the Premier League. He could certainly do a job for you. Good pace, dribbling, and heading. His mentals aren't amazing, but they will still do. And he has quite a bit of pace about him to sort of scare your opponents away. And at just the age of 21, still has room to progress as well. And so with that, ladies and gentlemen, comes to the end of our next list. So there we have another 10 potential stars for Football Manager 2020. I hope this helps. I hope that you've searched these players, found that you can pick them up for nice and cheap, and they change the way you play and give you some success. Please, if you can, drop a like on this video. That would be fantastic. Get us seen by many more players of the game across YouTube because the more views and likes that we get, the more likely we're going to put out some more of these lists. There is plenty more players to come, so if you want to see more, let us know down in the comments down below. And if there is any other suggestions, of course, let us know that as well. My name is Omega Luke. Like I said at the start, you can find my channel down in the description. Please come across and say hello, and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.